is this going to become a thing where I just like show you guys what the cup of the day is? <laughs> Sorry, man, it is hot at the moment, okay? It is really, really, really hot. So you got to stay hydrated, okay? It's important. Anyway, I completely digress. Today, we are styling some more cute kawaii clothing. This time, it's from Doll Blacks. So, it's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> It's your girl Aisha Shasha and today we are going to be styling some cute kawaii clothing courtesy of Doll Blacks. Now, I have worked with Doll Blacks a couple of times before so if you think that name sounds familiar, that will be the reason why. Um, now, I actually kind of know what's inside of the bags. Um, I just remember getting quite a few dark things and I know that that's quite unlike me. So I think that we've got a few black things inside of the two bags that I have. So all you goths out there, you better be happy, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to look after everybody. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this stuff out, see what we have, and then, um, yeah, see what kind of looks that we can put together. I'm just gonna give you guys some like styling ideas and um, yeah, hopefully you can learn something from this video. If you do, feel free to share it out with all your friends and your family. Now. Before I get into the video, if you're wondering where this beauty is from, check out my link in the description box below. You can go ahead and grab yourself some brand spanking new Shasha Squad merch so you can cement your place in the Shasha Squad family. Now, that being said, let's get to the unboxing. Or shall I say unbagging? <laughs> So we've got two bags here. One of them feels like, oh, hello. One of them feels like it's got a wig in it. So, Let's, let's go for the smaller one first. I don't fully remember what's in here. I just know that there's some black stuff. So yeah. Ooh. Are there two wigs? There might be two wigs, you know. There might be two wigs. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Ooh. So this one is black. But what, is it, is it all black? Is it black with a bit of color on it? What did I go for? I don't remember. Ooh, it's black with some gray. Or should we say silver? We love a silver fox. Ooh, child. Oh, this is nice. The oh my God, it's long. Okay, so, oh, get off. <laughs> right, so we have this luscious long beauty. Oh, hello. Let me get up close to the camera. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. That is lovely. This would be really nice if it was like curled actually. This would be very nice curl. I ain't got time to curl it today. I'm doing this during the school run. You already know my situation guys, okay? <laughs> I have a five year old kid who needs to be taken to and from school. This is my filming time. So yeah, we ain't got time to start curling hair, but this would be very nice if it was curled. I really like that. Do we have any combs in here? Yes, we do. We've got two combs, one either side. Very nice. Okay, I can't wait to try that on. That's gorgeous. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, let's get that back in the right place. <laughs> okay. You can just, you can just sit there for now, can't you? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Makes up for the fact that she hasn't got a head. <laughs> anyway, what was the second wig? Unless it went with this wig. Maybe it's like clip-on ponytails or something. I'm not sure. Ooh, that's not black. Oh my good, this. I think I got this because it matched my, um, my Vaporeon t-shirt. I think that's why I got this. Ooh, this is pretty, you guys. This is pretty. This is very pretty, okay. <laughs> I forgot that I got this. I have so many wigs, you know. I am a genuine wigaholic. I really, really am. Um, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed, but I am a wigaholic. I am. This is stunning, sorry. <laughs> this, this, this one's name is Vaporeon. 
like as of right this moment. Look at this. It's another split wig, guys. <laughs> you know I love me some split wigs. Look at this. Is that Vaporeon or is that Vaporeon? Come on. This is, be hold on, let me go and get her, one second. So this is the wig and this is Vaporeon. I mean, I know that it's not like a bright sort of like cyan color, but I feel that Vaporeon's kind of, actually, no, 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 she, she is actually a bit lighter than that. But I think that the colors go together really, really well personally so yes we've officially named her vaporeon i know i didn't ask you for your suggestion but it kind of suggested itself it's vaporeon <laughs> this would go perfectly with my vaporeon t-shirt i can't wait to put those two together sorry girl you have been replaced <laughs> ah, beautiful look at that that's stunning i love it i absolutely love it i love this as well i do Right, where am I gonna put you now though? Okay, so those are the wigs. Let's see what we have inside of the big bag. Ugh. From the feel of it, I think that there's some shoes in there. Ooh. Should we go for the shoes first? Hold on. Where are they? Right, let's, let's pull you out. Ugh. Oh my God. Oh my God, what's that? What is that? Oh my God, hold on, I'm so confused. Oh, I was looking at the underside of the shoe. I was like, why is the shoe beige? It's just the underside of the shoe. <laughs> just take it out of the bag, Aisha. Just take it out of the bag. Oh, the thing is, oh, these are pretty. The thing is, is I don't have a pretty black shoe, right? I have my black boots with the bat wings that you guys have seen to death, okay? I wear them so much. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with having your staples, okay? But I felt it was important for me, oh my gosh, important for me to get a black pair of pretty shoes to wear with my skirts. There's a lot of detail on this. Hold on, we need to appreciate, oh my God. <laughs> We need to appreciate the detail in this shoe. Right, so we've got this beautiful bow here at the back. We have a bow here on the side. We have a cute little pearl on the buckle. Oh my God, and then we've got this lovely white lace here, the bow at the front, and look at these. Look at the teeny tiny little strawberries. Oh my God. So cute. And the thing is as well, is that this is a heel that I can manage because like when it comes to wearing shoes, I'm not very good with wearing like big heels. I used to be able to, but these days, uh, not so much. So um, if, 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 they're, if they're a platform, I can wear really high platforms. And if they're a wedge, like a wedge trainer, I can wear a high wedge, but that's because it's got more support in between here. But um, normal shoes, I have to have them quite low. Um, but also I'm quite tall, I'm like five foot 10. So like, I don't need to be massive. But um, I really, really, really like these. These are adorable. I think they come in different colors as well. These are beautiful. Very happy about that. <laughs> Are those little Hello Kitty, like, little insoles? Oh my God. This is so, hold on. Look at these. These are so cute, little Hello Kitty-esque. <laughs> I don't know if that's official, but Hello Kitty-esque, little um, cute little, like, toe insoles. They are adorable. Oh my goodness. I've just realized that in all the excitement that we haven't actually used the girl button and I feel that we have at least three reasons to use it right now. Girl, girl, girl. Thank you very much, okay? Cause so far everything has been a winner. So let's see what else is inside of the bag. I know you guys are loving this button, right? <laughs> Isn't it so cool? Right, what is this? Oh, I thought that this was gonna be more black. <laughs> Sorry. We have what appears to be a rainbow cardigan because we can never have too many rainbow cardigans. Oh my God, look at this. 
That is so adorable. I'm happy about it. Look at this. That is super duper cute. I really like this sort of like scalloped edging here. I'm telling you, Granny Chic is in, okay? It is in. Bit warm for it right now, I have to say, but I did get these a few weeks ago. I just obviously hadn't opened them up yet. But uh, yeah, a little bit roasting for it at the moment, but this is Britain. Our weather could change drastically tomorrow. So <laughs> at least I will be prepared. But this is super duper cute. Let's pop you onto our mannequin here. I know that in my in my last styling video, I asked you guys to name her. Um, as that video, as of this moment, hasn't yet gone up, I don't actually know what we've decided to name her yet. So at the moment, she's nameless, but I'm sure that once you've seen this video, she will have a name. <laughs> I don't know what it is right now, so uh, yeah. Okay, let's 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 move this and let's pop you on here. This feels really nice and soft as well. I'm very happy about this. That's lovely. You can never have too many rainbow cardigans. Unless, of course, they're all the same. <laughs> lovely. I like the little uh, pearl details on them as well. It's got like a little pearl button detail going down it. I like that a lot. I'm also, I'm very fussy with my rainbows, okay? Like, they have to go in order. So the fact that it does go purple, blue, green, yellow, and then the hint of pink at the bottom, I'm happy with that. When I start seeing mixed up rainbows, it, it, it just, it affects my equilibrium. <laughs> and I can't handle it, so um, yeah. The rainbows have to go in order for me. Okay, and the last thing, what is this? Guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I've got some pins in there as well and some um, and a little comb in there too. Oh, so do they attach? Oh, oh, okay, one minute. Okay, so we do love some versatility in this house. So here we have a um, seemingly normal black beret. I can't believe that I didn't have a black beret, but here we go, we have black beret. But it also comes with, it comes with, look at this. It comes with these adorable little bunny ears that you can just clip on, because they've got pins at the back, right, little brooches at the back. You clip on to like the bottom of the hat, like so. So it looks like you've got like floppy bunny ears or I didn't know this. I didn't know they were even detachable. It has a hair clip. So if I wanted to, I could just slide it in. Hold on, let me just move this one this way. There we go. That's it. Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. These would be good cinema roll ears, wouldn't they just? Oh my God, do you know, these are, oh, that's the door. Oh, let me not answer the postman with dog ears on. Hold on one second. Hi, oh Hello. wow. Hello. 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 <laughs> How are you? Sorry. <laughs> You'll be a woman. <laughs> I have not seen Pulp Fiction. Well, watch it. The song's in there. It's good. You'll know what we're on about. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, that was my postman. Um, <laughs> he seemed quite intrigued with my uh, button. <laughs> he was a bit like, what is that you got on there? So anyway, um, what was I saying? Yes, so these would be the perfect like cinema roll ears. Look at this, because I've just gone and gotten my cinema roll bag. For those of you who don't know who Cinema Roll is, only the most lovable, adorable puppy slash bunny. <laughs> One of the two in the world. How cute is this? <laughs> God, but the ears match, don't they? And I think that you can actually take off the black bow as well. These are very versatile, a lot more versatile than I thought that it would be. Yeah, it has, it's got, it's got a little pin there so you can detach the black bow if you want to. I really like that. It's a simple but very effective thing. I love it. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm happy with everything that we have received today. So, 
This rainbow cardigan, I can put this with pretty much anything. I've got, let me just like decant. Give me a second. <laughs> just got like just one ear in. <laughs> okay, so this rainbow cardigan, that will pretty much go with X, Y, Z amount of things that I have. I have many pastel tops, many funky leggings as well. Um, but it's also quite nice to just dress up something that's very, very simple, i.e. a pair of jeans. Um, when it comes to wearing, I find personally, when it comes to wearing um, kawaii fashion, um, I feel that there are like different levels of it. There's like the OTT whereby, you know, sometimes I'll be in like, you know, one of my big ass bows and I'll be with all the bells and whistles on, sometimes quite literally some bells <laughs> in my hair. That's, that's, that's definitely happened before. But, um, you know, sometimes it's just not practical to be like that all the time, you know? Um, like take me now, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the school run every day and, um, it's not practical for me to, to, to dress all head to toe in, in all of my pastel rainbow stuff because that's a whole look. That's a lot of effort, do you know what I mean? Um, which is why I said in my last styling video that I'm really enjoying pairing up pastels with black. Um, so I just feel that, that it's important to show that like you don't have to go all out to be considered kawaii and cute, okay? Um, you can definitely just dress up some of your basics. So if you're wearing even just a pair of black leggings, you can dress it up with a rainbow cardigan, whack on a little beret. And if you want to, you can pop some ears on the bottom of your beret. Um, but the great thing about these is that I can now wear these with any beret. If I wanted to do, say, a cinema roll look, I can use my blue beret and I can pin these ears to the back and that would look even cuter. Do you know what I'm saying? So versatility is key. Um, so yeah, I will definitely pair this up with um, probably one of my funky leggings, but maybe not one that is too funky because we've already got this pattern going on here with the stripes. I don't want to then have too much going on on the bottom. Um, I feel that everything in moderation is key. Um, for the black and the white, we need to do a whole look for that. In fact, I'm wearing a black and white skirt right now. This is very handy because it's less changing for me. <laughs> As I said, we gotta do things quickly, girl. Um, so yeah, I can I can definitely do something with what I've got on right now. Whack on the new gorgeous little shoes. They're so, so, so adorable. The black and white hair and this, and we will pin these onto the hat as well and see how that looks. What top would I wear with it? Um, Do I, do, I, do I introduce another color? Like what goes well with black and white? Pink goes very well with black and white. Um, lilac goes well with black and white as well. Let's introduce lilac maybe. I'll have to see if I've got any like lilac socks. I probably don't have lilac socks. I'll have a little rummage. I'll have a little look and see what I can find. Ooh, I do have lilac tights. Okay, what we'll do. <laughs> See, I told you, this is all completely off the cuff. We are styling on the spot, okay? Um, that really should be like a name of a sip. No, no, let me not put the extra pressure on myself. Let me stop doing that. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna do lilac tights with this skirt, the cute little shoes. I have a lilac top. It's just a plain ribbed lilac top. In fact, let me go and get it for you, hold on. Okay, so do you know, just just thinking about it now, we have this lilac in this jumper. So I can even wear this underneath this. Hold on. You see, we're talking about versatility here. We're talking about staples, yeah? We're talking about reusing things. It's not always about having to wear a completely different outfit every single time and not reusing stuff. I reuse things all the time. There are some things that I'm sure you're probably sick of seeing. <laughs> But it's important to make sure that you have your staples. That's a very important thing. Um, this top is from um, I Saw It First. I get quite a lot of my staple things from I Saw It First or Amazon. It's literally just a ribbed um, lilac top. Look, can you see? It's just a ribbed top. And I like ribbed tops because they are stretchy and they can accommodate the girls. So let's move that down for a second. Let's pop this on. 
I think that because we've already got the pattern of the um, of the cardigan and then whatever leggings that I choose to put with this, like I can literally close my eyes and put my hand in and pull out a pair of leggings, you know. Um, whatever leggings that I choose to put with this, they're gonna be patterned as well. I don't think that we need for the top to be patterned too. Um, but again, this is all personal preference. Personal preference. Like, I'm just, I'm just giving you guys some ideas for if you are sort of like starting out in this kind of style. And this is just how I like to like layer my clothing and stuff like that. So there we go. Let's just pop you open just so that you can see what I'm talking about there. I think that looks nice. Okay, so leggings wise, I had a little think and I think I'm gonna go for the sprinkle ones just because in the sprinkles we have pink, we have yellow, we have blue um, and like it kind of like there are bits that kind of look a little bit lilac in it as well and I just think that also because the patterns are rectangular it goes with the stripes so yeah I think that that can you guys see that hold on I mean you'll have to see it once it's on but I think that that would look really really cute and then shoes I think for shoes, I actually might go for these um, just because the kind of like muted pastel pink goes pretty much perfectly with this cardigan. So I think I'll go for these. These ones are from Koi Footwear. I get a lot of my shoes from Koi Footwear. You guys already know that, right? Um, but yeah, and like the lilac, it all goes together quite well, but especially this muted pastel pink, I think that, that these ones are a winner. Okay, I think that we have our looks. Um, accessories, I'll think about that once I've got everything on. <laughs> Um, so yeah, now it's time for me to get myself dressed and, um, and yeah, see what you guys think. have it my darlings I really really hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you learned something from this video as well and uh, yeah please do let me know in the comment section what things that you enjoyed about it if you would try any of the styles that I put together that I styled on the spot the unofficial name for this kind of video um, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah you know I would love to know your views if you would change anything about what I've put together please do let me know that as well let's have a little gossip in the comments now if it is your first time here at the Aisha Shasha channel and you're thinking I want to be part of the Shasha squad because they all seem really really nice well you would be absolutely correct I love my Shasha squad family and I'd love to welcome you into the family as well all you got to do if you're loving the vibe is just subscribe so that you don't miss the next one take care my darlings and I'll see you all soon bye